Today, I'm going to teach you guys how to bend a kick 90. We are bending a kick 90. Let's go. This is episode 7 of my pipe bending video series. Thank you for joining. Today, we are going to go over the kick 90, very common bend. Well, it looks like this. So, let's say I'm running conduit down this wall, and we have this inside corner right here. And I got a fire panel over here, okay? But my conduit run is down low, and I need to change elevations and change that quarter. Instead of bending an offset and wasting all those bends, we're going to bend what's called a kick 90, and that's what it kind of looks like. It's a kind of a bad angle, but it's going to go up. We're going to bend a 90, then we're going to kick it, and it's going to um, raise an elevation there's a better angle right there so let's go ahead and bend one in real life and we're gonna be using one inch EMT so for this example we have a pull can right there um, I want you to use your imagination I don't have an inside corner wall at my house so we're gonna pretend that line is the inside corner wall um, and we're gonna bend a kick 90 that's gonna go up and enter in to that bottom KO, I need to knock it out, and I am out of three-quarter pipe, so we're going to do this in one inch. The first two things we need to find out is our elevation from the ground to the middle of that KO, and then we also need to figure out what the distance is from our imaginary wall to that pull can. So we're going to go ahead and tape that out, and that KO is 11 and a half inches. Um, from the deck and the can is 16 inches from our imaginary wall so remember those numbers 11 and a half and 16 so um, I'm gonna we're gonna bend a 90 then we're gonna put a kick in it and uh, let's see if we can get it all to line up so we are running one inch EMT and I'm gonna use my Greenlee hand bender um, I absolutely love this bender it's nice and heavy it's got a really heavy steel head on it so it makes bending one inch uh, very easy uh, but the thing that I really love about it is on this back side they have all the offset multipliers on the actual bender so first thing we're gonna do is since we have 16 inches from that wall to that can we're gonna mark out at 8 inches because that Greenlee bender stubs to 8 so 8 plus 8 is 16 so I'm going to mark it at 8 inches and then we are going to bend a 90 and that stub up will be 16 inches so we're going to mark this all the way around the pipe skeet 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 and now what we're going to do is we're going to line this up with the bend arrow our line is at 8 inches we're going to bend a 90 it's going to add 8 inches giving us a total of a 16 inch stub up and bam there it is so get gonna get the level on it it's dead nuts and now we're ready for our next step which is gonna be I want to make sure that's that 16 inches so I want to take my level and then pull the tape out and just confirm that bam 16 inches cool so now that we know that that's good now we're gonna make our mark for where we're gonna give it our kick and what I do is I have a number that I just use, and that's 11 inches. So I'm going to measure 11 inches out. I'm going to mark it. I'm going to put it on the bend arrow because that 11 inches out is just enough to where you're not on that inside radius. So we're going to mark that, get it spun around, and then we're going to get our kick put in. Now, you're going to have shrinkage on your kick. Um, I'm going to do a separate video on that. I don't have time to go into all that. So now I'm lining my second line up with my band arrow and bam. I'm going to go ahead and check it. We need 11 and a half inches, remember? So that's about halfway there. And then bam, I bend it some more. And now I'm checking it. Got the level on it. You want to, when you check it, you need to have a level. And we're right there at 11 and a half inches. And booyah payow landed and branded and uh, came out clean I'm not strapping it but what I would do is I would put a piece of uh, unistrut right back there a piece of shallow strut would fit perfect 
and then I would have strapped it with some unistrut straps one inch and that thing would have been solid you could have done a pull up from it and there it is dead nuts um, that's what you want to see and uh, that is your class for today but this concludes episode 7 on the kick 90 uh, that is completed and tomorrow we'll be doing episode 8 which is on the shepherd's hook you guys have a great rest of the day I will see you on the next one.